keep the fucking energy going. Alright, <laughs> oh! oh, quiet now. <laughs> My name's Jacob Conn. I grew up obese with Asperger's syndrome and Jewish, so I had fun at school. <laughs> and nickname growing up was Fadge. <laughs> I know you take one look at me and you think, of course, fuckable athletic Jacob. Fat autistic Jew. <laughs> Which in all honesty is a really clever nickname. <laughs> I'm not in the best shape of my life, but I think I'm gonna get fat again. I kind of miss it. <laughs> I like, I've been doing press ups and yoga steadily, just like shaving away layers of fat. And now I've realised, oh fuck, there's nothing better underneath. <laughs> I had a beautiful girlfriend as well when I was fat. Beautiful. Never fucking asked me to lose any weight. Five years. Loyal as anything. She's gone. Now I've got traps and I'm certain I'm gonna die alone. <laughs> oh, shut up. I get loads of pussy. <laughs> Losing all the weight made me think about reinvention. I had a mate. Uh, not really a fucking mate to be honest. Just someone I know. Uh, <laughs> You know those dickheads when you go back to your hometown for Christmas and like you see someone that you haven't seen since school, they're working behind the bar and you're like, oh mate, how you doing? I was like, oh Leo, it's good to see you. He was like, it's Leon now. <laughs> I was like, right, yeah, short for Leonardo. He goes, no, no, no. Leon just works better. <laughs> It's like getting frosted tips on your name. <laughs> it's like going in for a sex change and coming out with a circumcision, you know? <sighs> single life is weird. You, you get into some weird shit when you're single, you know? I've been doing a lot of sexting. <laughs> I like it, it's fun, you know? It's all the fun of sex with none of the pressure. <laughs> If you're not good at something, lie. <laughs> but you know when you have a few too many threads going at once and then you say something and the girl's like, what the fuck did you just say? And they're like, shit, Stephanie doesn't like anal. <laughs> and you end up sexting in like some really weird places at a point to where you're basically just lying. You're like, yeah, I can't wait for you to sit on my fucking face when you're just literally in Lidl looking at hummus. <laughs> Autism's great fun. <laughs> I like the light here because it means I don't have to look anyone in the eyes. <laughs> when you tell someone that you're autistic, you're generally going to get one of three reactions. Um, the first one is they'll be like, oh mate, you must be really fucking good at it because I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm like, just give me a minute, you'll find out. <laughs> the second one is you'll get a little bit emotional about it. You'll be like, guys. I've got to tell you something. I've got to share something with you. I've always been a little bit different. I've got autism. They're like, duh, have you ever met you? <laughs> Fucking weirdo. And then the third one is, you'll tell someone that you're autistic and then they hit you with a mental maths quiz because they've seen the film Rain Man. <laughs> like, I'm not going to carry the two for you on demand. I can barely register a genuine smile. <laughs> Jewish is busy work, you know, between controlling the media and running all the world's banks. I barely have any time for my non-Jewish hobbies, like stand-up comedy. <laughs> my absolute favourite thing about being Jewish though, I can't lie, is that I experience all of the white privilege and I feel zero guilt about it. <laughs> back on that one, yeah? Imagine how not guilty you would feel if you had a holocaust to fall back on. <laughs> I do feel guilty about some stuff though. Like, I fucking love Kanye. <laughs> I'm such a Kanye fan. And like, at first I was like, ah, what he said, I don't care, he made college drop out, it's fine. <laughs> And then I realised, oh shit, Jews are pissed. <laughs> like, you know, JP Morgan stopped working with Kanye. Do you know how angry Jews have to be to stop <laughs> handling money? <laughs> Adidas 
stop working with Kanye. Fun fact about Adidas, they were founded by an actual Nazi. <laughs> He's just a charismatic man with a microphone and some anti-Semitic views. That's never gone badly before. <laughs> <sighs> I've got another disability, not as trendy as autism. I don't have a sense of smell. <laughs> no word of a lie, I'm a walking fire hazard. Um, I'm never gonna smell freshly cut grass. I'm never gonna smell freshly roasted coffee but I get to have a lot of fun with farts. <laughs> I have a hoot with a toot, you know? <laughs> um, I've got this thing that I've mastered when I go out that I like to call the catch and release. Um, so picture this, you're in a trendy Bristol nightclub, the music's pumping. <laughs> People in Bristol are very friendly. Gen Z, and um, I'm really desperately trying to claw to the fact that I'm a 90s baby, not for the husband rape stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I was born in 1999, I'm like, hey, yeah, 90s were sick, man, Wu Tang. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Goodfellas? That was sick. <laughs> Nirvana? Remember Nirvana? Yeah, that was <laughs> yes, they were. They're a wicked band that I heard on TikTok. <laughs> no, um, I'm a music snob, which is ironic because I'm also a drum and bass DJ. <laughs> which, as you can see, the career's going great. <laughs> when you do a drum and bass set, um, people might have half a mind to come up to the stage, literally get up in your face and be like, Oh, mate, fuck off! <laughs> and that means you're doing really well. <laughs> So stand up is confusing. <laughs> People get fucking amped up to drum and bass. They're like, mate! Oh, mate, that was filth! That made me want to drop kick my nan! <laughs> I'm like, hey, buddy, take it easy. Drum and bass is about peace and love. <laughs> Drop is so sick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe want to go out and save the whale. <laughs> There's a lot of drugs attached to the drama base scene over where we got any potheads in the audience? Woo! 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 Everyone else has a job. <laughs> I love weed, it makes doing nothing great. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke weed all day. Fucking let's do it. Um <laughs> we live in, you know, like I'm fucking one of those guys, I'm like, yeah, I fucking, I'll smoke weed before every meal, I can't watch a film without it, I never have any joy without it, I wake up sweating every day and I swear at my parents all the time, but I'm not a fucking drug addict, bruv, don't say that to me. <laughs> we live in denial, you know? We look at someone like Snoop Dogg and we're like, fuck yeah, I could do that. <laughs> you know, like, um, the environmentalists, eh? <laughs> they have Greta Thunberg. <laughs> the women's movement, they have Malala. <laughs> Seth Rogen. <laughs> There's a binary concept going around at the minute. Um, the idea that we live in a simulation. Does anyone believe that we live in a simulation? Yes. Go on, explain yourself. Yeah, it's 22. Yeah, Elon Musk got to this one. <laughs> 
that was your crypto wallet, bro. <laughs> Fucking bullshit, bro. If we live in a simulation, fuck off and do something better than this. <laughs> I can't believe it. People say we live in a simulation and they'll sit down and watch Premier League football every night of the week. It's, it's insane. You're watching it. It's fucking boring as well. Every score's the same, it's him. It's just literally nil nil, one nil, nil one, one all, nil nil. You're looking at the scores and thinking, oh fuck, they're leaving us clues. We are in the matrix. Thank you so much, I've been James